today's skein in my art history advent calendar is from Emma and she's named it Marble Kiss. I just looked this one up and I'm pretty sure it's a reference to Auguste Rodin's uh, The Kiss sculpture, in which case it's so perfect because the colors look exactly like marble and it's this wonderfully sheepy wooly skein. What did you make with this originally, Emma? so busy it's just been one thing after another both with work and switching over my laundry and all that and my computer is just like deciding it doesn't want to work today I'm taking a quick lunch break I have decided this week to make um, loaded baked potato every day for lunch it's simple and easy and it just sounded really good to me right now I'm in the mood for comfort food It's about 5 p.m. right now, and I want to take you guys to the Rockefeller Christmas tree and the Saks Fifth Avenue window displays. They are amazing. So, so beautiful, fun to look at, like tradition every year I go. But one caveat. So as I'm sure you can imagine, it's super, super crowded and busy around there. So in anticipation of that, and also knowing um, they're doing like five minute timed slots to go in front of the tree, and it's just like all this mess, not gonna do that. So two weeks ago, I pre-filmed the tree before the tree lighting ceremony, um, and then also the window displays to show you because I knew it would be like hardly any people compared to what it is during the holiday season. So that's the footage that I'm going to show you now. I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll see you guys back here after uh, that you see the footage of the Rockefeller Christmas tree and the Saks Fifth Avenue window displays from two weeks ago. Keep in mind it's pre-tree lighting like I said so the tree is like not all decorated but you get the general idea. It's Christmas time when all the lights are coming on at night A scarf for everywhere we go We're leaving footprints in the snow Dry beside the fire's glow Awaiting Santa's ho 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 Christmas time 
Christmas time is finally here Shout for joy and sing with cheer Sound of laughter in the air Peace and love are everywhere There's a gift for you from me It's wrapped and placed well underneath a tree I'll hold you close and take your hand Give a smile and share a laugh Remember how the year has passed And hold the moments that we have Christmas time is finally here Shout for joy and sing with cheer Sound of laughter in the air Peace and love are everywhere Christmas time is finally here Shout for joy and sing with cheer Sound of laughter in the air Peace and love are everywhere Christmas time is finally here Shout for joy and sing with cheer Sound of laughter in the air Peace and love are everywhere We are back. I am going to draft the sleeve caps for this, finish off my sleeves on the bottom, and then do the hem. And then this one will be finished. I just felt like the cabinets needed a little extra pizzazz. So I tied these greenery sprigs to green velvet ribbon that I ordered. What do you think? Pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, it's finished, finished, finished. I went for little straps up here rather than the whole cap because I was just finding it difficult to draft that on my own. I don't think I have enough experience for that yet. So. For now, this is what I have. It's really comfortable with this though. I can also tuck them down into the dress if I just want to wear it as an off the shoulder, which I can do, but it just makes it a little more comfortable and secure with the straps in. Um, I've hemmed it, as you can see right here, and finished the sleeve edges off. I think it's super cute. I do like it. Thank you so much for all of your encouragement on the Vlogmas post yesterday. I am quite happy with it, I think. <laughs> I keep saying I think like I don't know, but this is me. This is my process. I'm always unsure when I first make something, but thank you very much for all of your kind words. Step back so you can see it a little bit more. It's got a lot of swish, you guys my Blackbird Fabrics order with Andrew's hoodie fabric. It shipped today. I need you to send me all of the like postal delivery gods, juju, mojo, whatever you've got for me that this package gets here. Like 
ASAP so I can finish this hoodie before Christmas. I swear, I did not wait until the last minute for this. And it wasn't my fault. The fabric has been sold out for over a month. So it's just the way the cookie crumbled, but looks like we've got ourselves into another marathon sewing sesh this year. It's feeling like that quill vlogmas all over again. But you guys always know I'm up for a good old sewing challenge, so <laughs> fingers crossed. And if all else fails and if I don't finish it in time, because I want to do it right, I'll just like wrap up the in progress hoodie and give it to him that way. I'm sure it'll be fine. So now that I'm finished with my dress, I'm of course on the hunt for my next project and I'm debating between two things, a top, another Theory Coulson, uh, item. Actually, both the things I'm debating between are Theory Coulson, a top and a skirt. I'll put pictures on the screen of both of them for you to see. I think I'm going to make the skirt though because I texted my mom and my sister in our group chat and they both voted for the skirt. So I'm going to go for the skirt, I think. And I'm making it out of black chiffon, black silk chiffon. I am very excited. I got this on a really good discount from fabric.com. So I'm just super, super stoked to work with it. And I think it's gonna be a really nice palette cleanser project of sorts because even though I don't have a pattern for it, it's something that I've like made before. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'll show you the fabrics. So this is my black silk chiffon. Um, this is plea pleated. I cannot, I can never say that pre-pleated chiffon. This one's polyester, but this is gonna be for the gathered part on the bottom. And then this right here is a black cotton lawn that's going to be the lining for the top part of the skirt, which is gonna have the black silk chiffon on the outside. So I'm really looking forward to this project. I think it's gonna be so nice. Also, in the mail today, I got this Jessica Blazer Taylor tailoring kit from Closet Core Patterns. I bought the Jessica uh, Blazer pattern because I really want to make it with a herringbone fabric that I recently purchased. And my friend Grace, shout out Grace, Weezer Dreams, um, suggested that I get this. And I'm so glad she did because it comes with kind of all of the tailoring essentials, as you can see here. Um, in one neat little package rather than me having to source all of these things separately like stay tape shoulder pads sleeve pads um, Two different types of interfacing hair canvas. So this is going to be really really handy for making that blazer I'm looking forward to that project, but I'm kind of building up my stamina for it because I know it's going to be a challenging one sewing coats in general, I mean it's a blazer, but same difference really um Coats and blazers are a very advanced projects, so working my way up to that one. And this is the fabric for that blazer, in case you were curious. This herring bow, isn't it so pretty? Anyways, but I think that is probably enough sewing for one night, so I'm going to shut it all down. Tomorrow I will give my sewing room a good clean, because I always do a really big clean between projects, and then make as much mess as I want during the project, and then clean it all up again. And then I will start fresh with a new project tomorrow. And right now I have this huge pile of clean laundry to fold, which I'm sure makes for riveting content. So I will leave you here. Say goodnight and I will see you in the morning. Say bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Hey. Night. <laughs>